Kyle, that's definitely a warning. When you hear thunder, lightning is close by, so just take any outdoor activities inside. Protect yourself and your family, especially as we get into this time of year where we start to see those afternoon thunderstorms develop. But today, downtown, clouds of increase, mainly just shower activity west of the metro area, 93 degrees out of the airport, winds relatively calm from the east at 5 miles per hour. It's been a very hot day. High temperatures have been in the mid-90s. We'll be under a mix of sun and clouds through the next few hours and then clearing skies overnight. So through dinner time into early tomorrow morning, we'll drop down from the 80s to 60s. And then once again, it's going to be downright toasty for tomorrow. In terms of what we're experiencing outside right now, just some scattered shower activity up through Netherland into the foothills uh, west of Golden into Idaho Springs. So if you're traveling on the I-70 corridor within the next couple of hours, we will get some rain and then main thunderstorm activity staying north of Fort Collins and Greeley. On our future cast, as we head throughout the next few hours, by 7 o'clock, we'll be under a partly cloudy sky in Denver, 88 degrees, so still really warm. Winds will pick up into our mountains near Aspen and down into Gunnison. We'll start to see skies clear statewide, so overnight it'll be mostly clear. You get a great shot of the moon. Winds will pick up across the far northeastern plains, gusting in from the south. And then early tomorrow morning, a calm start to our Monday, and temperatures really mild. 65 degrees is our expected high. Uh, low rather in Denver and then temperatures really ramp up quickly by noon. We'll already see low 90s clouds increase once again. A very similar weather pattern in store for tomorrow is what we felt today. Increasing cloud coverage across the foothills and then slight chance for a few spotty storms. S about a 10% chance in and around the Denver area come about 5 to 7 o'clock tomorrow, but mainly just increasing cloud coverage for our uh, much of our forecasted cities for our daytime highs tomorrow. We are going to be in the mid 90s, but low temperatures for tonight will be in the 60s. So 50s and 60s across the plains and then into our mountains, 40s and 50s. Tonight skies will clear in around the Denver area, 65 and then early tomorrow morning we'll see plenty of sunshine, even hotter conditions. 96 is our expected high out at the airport. Elsewhere, Longmont getting up to 95 tomorrow, Fort Collins 94. Our UV index will once again be a concern, so just make sure you wear the sunscreen throughout tomorrow and then across the plains upper 90s for our daytime highs. Here's our seven day forecast as we head into Wednesday. We increase the chance we're seeing a few afternoon storms and then Thursday into Friday a better chance. Temperatures will drop back down to the upper 80s overnight. 60s are expected our first alert weather day where we could be seeing some stronger thunderstorms right now is looking like Friday and then this weekend once again near normal. So we should be in the upper 80s and then it's just going to be hot the next day or so hot, maybe a little humid with some weather heading our way, exactly. but put that sunscreen on, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Katie. Well, luckily